Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And as you can see, today we have got a Timu unbagging. Now, I have got, oh God, probably three Timu orders. And they're, they're not huge orders, but they're not small orders either. So, I have just took everything in all three orders and just... Put them all together and I have put them in categories like my other videos. You know, I've got everything that I ordered that had to do with kitchen stuff, which I'm going to show you right now. And then I'm going to have probably three more videos. Um, one that will be different categories. So, all right. Let's just move this out of the way, and we are going to go ahead and pull the first thing out. So, I'm going to bring y'all down. Yes, I know, my lighting sucks. So, y'all, I love these sponges, and they are $0.87, cents and you get one, two, three, four, five of them, and they last forever. But they come in different colors. There's pink, green, yellow. I think they might have a blue. But they are spongy on the... Well, they're spongy. And then on the one side, they have got this um, scrubby. Um, and then on the other side is like the sponge. There, There's a sponge on the inside. But this is soft, so it's not abrasive to pots and pans. But if you've got something that is stuck and you can't quite get it off, then you've got your, your scratchy side. But these things last a pretty good while. And for, what did I say, 87 cents? Yeah, I got these for 87 cents. You cannot beat these. And these are great. And I think this is like the third time I've purchased these. And each time they've been a different price. I think I actually got a set of them one time for like 17 cents. So make sure you watch those lightning rounds. And you know grab them when you can. So 87 cents for those. <clears throat> okay the next thing I got. I've been seeing it. And I just haven't gotten it because I wasn't real sure about it. But I got this and it shows on the site that these are good for getting the, the burnt on, caked on bottoms of your pans. You know how they get like all gunky and gross and you just it just won't come off in the wash. But it shows this um, scraper getting all that gunk off that baked on grease and stuff um so i'm gonna try it because i do have one pan that i love the pan it's like one of my favorite pans but the bottom of it and the sides is just like ugh, and i cannot get it off no matter i have tried sos pads i've tried everything um but i only gave 18 cents for this it was on the lightning round um so i'm gonna give it a try so there's that and of course i had to get the cheese holder um and i only gave oh, i can't even read my own a nickel i gave five cents for this so this is that little container you put your sliced cheese in and then you put it in the refrigerator so I thought that was pretty neat and it opens from either side I guess you could put whatever you want in it but it shows you can put sliced cheese in it so if you got your craft or your Velveeta which we use Velveeta we used to use craft cheese all the time which I like craft cheese but my husband prefers Velveeta singles so that's what I get him to make his lunches so I'm gonna 
put the cheese in here because for some reason the slices end up all over the meat tray that's in my uh, refrigerator that little sliding tray I end up having slices all over the tray so I'm going to stick them all in here but for a nickel who can turn that down <clears throat> okay so the next thing that I got was one of these it's a 68 cents the only one that was 68 cents was the black one but they did have other colors and I did try to get a different color and it was not 68 cents so I went back to the black which I do not care I was just you know gonna see if I could get a different color but these are this is one of those things that you put your plastic bags in and which is cool because I keep all my plastic bags like from Walmart because that's what my husband takes his lunches in to work which he's got a I don't know my husband is weird y'all he's got a lunch box an insulated lunch box that we got in sporting goods I think I gave like 20 something dollars for the ding dang thing and what's he do he takes his lunch in a Walmart sack. The lunch box is sitting on top of the refrigerator. But anyway, I have got all my Walmart bags inside a Walmart bag, sitting on a hook in the utility room. And when I fix his lunch, he'll go in there and he'll get him a Walmart bag and put his sandwiches and chips and stuff in it. And out the door he goes. So I figured I would put the Walmart sacks in this. So you stick them in here at this end. And then you pull them out. It has, if y'all can see, it has some mesh right here. And then an elastic hoe. So they don't just fall out. So I'm just going to stick them in here. So I thought that was pretty cool. And like I said, 68 cents. Couldn't beat that so there's that and then i've seen these and seen these i'm gonna pull y'all up a little bit more and i didn't get them because y'all i cannot stand the feel I, my hands i don't know i used to not be able to i'm not gonna say i still can't but when i was working i used to work at dollar tree and we'd have to deal with freight and it was always in cardboard boxes and my hands would get so dry because cardboard just sucks the moisture out of your hands and I used to not be able to couldn't stand the feel of certain fabric because it would just be like velcro on my hands and it would just oh it was everything I could do to touch it so I kind of stay away from cloth that is like I well kind of like this but this is not bothering my hands because usually I would feel it and it would just like cling to my hands and it would just be like you know I, I just oh I couldn't stand it but this was 28 cents and this is one of those um microfiber that's what I'm trying to think of microfiber but this is velvet. This is called a coral velvet pink. It says lock edge. It's 25 by two. I don't know what that means. But this is 80% nylon and 20% span. Oh, spandex. Um but this is not bothering my hands so this would be a good dusting cloth I don't know if I'd want to wash dishes with it but this would be a good dusting cloth or if you wanted to I wouldn't I wouldn't be afraid to even dust um, your TV with it I don't think that would be abrasive enough to scratch so for 28 cents, there's your dusting cloth. All right, so to go along with that, 
I got um, I got a set of these for 88 cents and this is not even bothering my hands so you get one two three four a set of five now these kind of look like pot holders but I mean I wouldn't use them for a pot holder but they do have the little little hole there on the corner very soft and like I said I gave 88 cents for them and let me look at the package it doesn't say what it just says cleaning cloth it's polyester fiber 100% polyester fiber so there again dusting cloth they make a good dusting cloth but for what did I say 88 cents you get five of these that's not bad not bad at all and you can wash them dry them reuse them yeah I'm not mad at that and it's not bothering my hands so that's pretty cool Alright, so, the next thing I got was this. And I only gave 28 cents for this. And on their website, I have seen them. It's like you can take and flip a burger or a steak or something with this. You just, you know, put this on there, shake the grease off, and flip it over. And this is metal. So I wouldn't use it on anything that had, you know, anything you don't want to. Or I say, if you have anything that has got your non-stick stuff on your, what is that called? I have, I'm drawing a blank on your skillet. Um, is it Teflon? No. Um, oh my gosh. If you got nonstick pans, the non the coating on your nonstick pans, I use myself. I use plastic, um, but this would be good for a grill. If you wanted to use it for a grill, flipping your hamburgers or even your hot dogs um, or a steak or whatever, this would be good for a grill. So that you don't, you know, my husband has been known to flip a burger and off the grill it went. Or in the little grooves it goes. So this would be good, you know. But still, y'all, like I said, 28 cents, come on. And it's metal, come on. Not bad. Alright, so one more thing that I got, or what, not one more thing, I've got... Two more things. Alright, so this I got because, y'all, I love corn on the cob. But, my husband don't. So, I got this. And this is one of those. You can take the corn on the cob and you go across it and it will take the corn off the cob. And I gave $2.47 for. And... You know it's that time of year so I can get corn on the cob and I can make corn on the cob and then I can take his and scrape it off the cob for him or he can scrape it off himself but I thought that was pretty cool and it's got teeth on it if you can see I don't know if you can see it or not but it does have, yeah, it's got teeth, and I am going to say it is pretty sharp. And it just scrapes it on off there. If you can see how it's, how it's made. And I'm just going to stick that, well, I'll just stick it right there. Okay, so the last thing that I got that goes in, like, kitchen stuff is this. I gave 68 cents for this. And this, if I can, well, I'm just going to rip the plastic. So, 
this is one of them things that you put in the corner of your sink and this just goes in like this and you can put it in your sink and you can put your fruit in there or whatever and you can drain or you can wash your fruit and it drains out these hose or even if you have say like um if you are rinsing out dishes and some of the dishes still have food in them you can rinse them out over here the food will tr be trapped in here and then when you get done you can just take this over to the garbage toss it or if say you are you know if you got carrots and you're you know doing your vegetables you can you know do all that in here put your vegetables over there you can cut your strawberries up over here um tomatoes you know whatever put your scraps in here and then you can take this over to the trash throw it in the trash there you go so i thought this would be neat because i'm always cutting up vegetables um salads cucumber you know whatever and i do um homemade dog food for the boys so i'm always cutting up vegetables or you know something so i thought this would be pretty cute or not cute but i thought this would be very very good and useful for me in the kitchen so not bad haul i don't think and like i said 68 cents for this i don't think i did too bad what do y'all think have any of y'all used any of this have you purchased any of this any of it um oh one more thing i almost forgot she was sitting over there at the side and i almost missed her so let me move this out of the way i got ah, cool mama now y'all know i had the angry mama who um cleans the um microwave and i will let y'all know she does work you put her in the microwave follow the instructions and yes it does work so this is a refrigerator deodorizer so you put her in your freezer or your refrigerator I think actually and she's supposed to absorb all the odors that are in your refrigerator so we're going to try her so you put baking soda in it and yeah it's supposed to work up to three months in your refrigerator so we're gonna try her and see how she does but i gave four dollars 48 cents for her and then after i got her i seen that she had went down in price but i think like the other one you just take and you just put it in there up to where it says go and I think right here I'll have to read the instructions but there should be a spot on here to where you can uh, adjust how much you want it opened or whatnot so so yeah or right, well no it's right there duh so yeah I didn't think that was too bad so I'm gonna try her out and see how she does because like I said the angry mama did work so I told y'all I'd let you know and if you do have a chance to grab her grab her um, and it didn't take but seven minutes for angry mama so all right y'all let me know in the comments what you think do you have any of these um so yeah i will leave in the comments or in the comment section in the description all of the products if they are still available i will leave a link and the price in the description box um and i am an influencer i did purchase all of this with my own money um actually everything i'm fixing to show y'all i purchased with my own money 
So, um, but I am an influencer, so I will leave my link to my uh, influencer discount. If you have not ever purchased from Timu and you use my discount code, you will uh, get 30% off your first Timu order. If you click on the link for the Timu app, you will get $100 worth of coupons. So, I will leave both links all the links to the products and the prices in my description box. So, all right, y'all. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. And give me a thumbs up. Do all the YouTube things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.